Hello and welcome back to FM1 of the Kids, hopefully helping you get the best out of Football Manager. Today we're looking at the very best young left wingers in Football Manager 2022. Let's go. Do hit a like on the video, hit subscribe if you're new, please, please, please hit subscribe if you're new or if you haven't hit subscribe yet because I know a lot of you who watch these videos aren't subscribed. Naughty, naughty. And if you want to download the shortlist, that's available to the patrons. Click the link. Emile Smith-Rowe, right, Arsenal want 108 million for this guy, okay, so that's too much for starters, but if he does become available after that, then you're good to go. Dribbling 15, first touch 14, passing 15, acceleration 16, and agility 16. He's 20 years old, he's going to be good, isn't he? Look at this, vision, work rate, teamwork, off the ball, all 15s, flair 15, determination 15. He's going to be very, very good. 10 years time, stick around, we'll show you what he's like. Continuing the Arsenal theme, Gabriel Martinelli next. This time a Brazilian who's going to cost you above £100 million according to Arsenal here in this save. Similar to Smith Rowe in a lot of ways actually with a lot of 15s and looks like he's going to be very, very good in 10 years time which we will show you. Don't forget, just make sure you hit a like. Technique 14, first touch 14 and dribbling 14. Teamwork 15 as well as flair, determination, pace and acceleration though. Both in the green. Curtis Jones next. And every player on this list, my scout reckons their best position is left wing, right? So it kind of, it's a good way of me not overlapping players in different videos because we've got best strikers, best right wingers, videos, etc. Click around on the homepage, you'll see them. But I don't want them to overlap, right? Because a lot of players have quite a fluid kind of position. Curtis Jones, my scout reckon, his best position is left wing. So he comes in on the left wing videos, right? Right footed. A left winger, you know what it's like in the modern day. That's how people play inside forwards, etc. 16 first touch, 15 dribbling, flair of 15 and determination of 15. Upwards of 81 million pounds Liverpool are going to want for this guy. It's a little bit much in it, let's be honest. Vinicius Jr. next, the 20 year old Brazilian playing at Real Madrid. He's fast, 18 acceleration and 17 paces. Media description here is Wonder Kid. He's a dribbling genius like 17 dribbling and technique 15 and at the age of only 20 he's gonna get a lot better and i can't wait to see what he looks like in 10 years time jeremy doku next a 19 year old belgian player playing for ren between 58 and 70 million quid he'll cost you at the start of the game acceleration 17 pace 17 natural fitness 16 a couple more greens in the mentals as well so you've got bravery 18 and flair of 16. Ferran Torres, one of my favourite players for some reason. Acceleration 17, pace 16. He's a 21-year-old Spanish kid. Probably a bit too old to be a wonder kid. I think 21 is the cut-off. But listen, he's going to be sick in 10 years' time. I really can't wait to see him. £58 million probably gets you Ferran Torres from Man City. Rodrigo next, playing for Real Madrid here. He's a Brazilian 20-year-old. You can see he's going to be good. 14, 14 and 15 in terms of dribbling, finishing and first touch. Costs you 45 million on the dot at the start of the game. 16 agility, 15 acceleration, off the ball, flair. Gonna be a cracking little player, this guy. And I think 45 million is a fair price. Anzu Fati next. My scouts reckon his best position is left midfield. So he comes on the list today at left midfield. We may have also included him in the strikers video. Look, so, so shoot me. Apologies. 16 acceleration, 17 agility. Off the ball, 16, Flair, 19, Anzu Fati has the ability to become the best player in the game in 10 years' time. He's 18 years old. And for between 41 and 61 million pounds, I think if you don't get Anzu Fati and you've got that kind of money, I think you're mad. Jamal Musiala next, 17 dribbling, first touch 16, and technique of 17 as well. Acceleration, agility, natural fitness all stand out for this guy. You can play anywhere in the attacking midfield positions. He's going to be good. I can't wait to see what he looks like in 10 years' time. Stick around till the end of the video and we'll go through the attributes of these players in 10 years' time. We'll look at the history and we'll look at the scout reports as well. Hammond Jr. Traore. My scouts in 10 years' time reckon his best position is left midfield, right? But you can see here he plays attacking midfield centre and midfield centre. He's either footed, he's a 21-year-old Ivorian... And it costs you between 35 and 41 million at the start of the game. Ryan Gill next playing for Tottenham. Spanish play. can play anywhere along the left side of the pitch, basically. Acceleration 16, pace 14. He's a wonder kid, described by the media. And you can pick him up between 30 and 45 million pounds. Mikel Damsgaard next playing for Sampdoria. Had an amazing Euros. Dribbling 16. 
Acceleration 15, Agility 15, can use either foot and is available for between 30 and 35 million pound. I think that is amazing value. Two players next that are on loan at the start of the game, so they won't be coming to your club straight away. But this 19 year old Spanish kid will be very, very good. Dribbling 14, Agility 14, etc., and can use either foot as well. Philippe Stevanovic, similar on loan but is going to be good. Dribbling 15, acceleration 14, pace 13, etc, etc. Let's see what he looks like in 10 years time. Jeremy Pino next, an 18 year old Spanish player who will cost you between 24 and 36 million at the start of the game. He's already got dribbling of 16 in this save year. And again, different saves can be different, players can, the potential can vary, etc, etc. But generally there's not going to be a whole lot of difference. He looks very, very good here and that described as a wonder kid as well. Giocamo Raspadore next, one of my favourite finds so far in the game. Finishing 15, first touch 15. Let me tell you right now, in 10 years' time, he is amazing. Okay, so stick around for that. Between 17 and 25 million quid you can pick him up for at the start of the game. So it's a no-brainer. Trust me on this one. Get this guy in your team. Ernst Poku next, a name which I adore. Doesn't look too good here, right? But he's a 17-year-old Dutch player and he's fast. Acceleration... 17 and pace 17 okay play with either foot and he's available for between 13 and 16 million pound at the start of the game interesting to see how he develops in 10 years time andreas sludger drop next and i've tried to pronounce his name a million times so far i really need to learn it to be honest with you because it keeps popping up either footed norwegian 17 year old attacking midfield left he is available for less than 10 million quid a very, very good little player indeed. Last player then before we fast forward into the future is Chaka Traore, 16 year old Ivorian, left wing, right foot, not much above 13, but he has got actually dribbling and flair. Let's see what he looks like in 10 years time. Let's go into the future, baby. Okay, so here we are in the future. The year is 2031. Date is the 1st of January. I'll just go onto my short lists and I'll click load. This shortlist, by the way, is called the Top 12 Unknown Wonder Kids. If you want to download any and all of the shortlists that we use for these videos, consider supporting us on Patreon. All the shortlists are available to the patrons. It's as easy as clicking on Load Shortlist and Best Young Left Wingers. Going from worst to best, then Ernst Poku comes first. And you can see he's got that acceleration, this time agility, pace, as well as composure, either footed and as natural and all those kind of striking positions. Looking at his history, his average rating is 6.94. It doesn't really get an awful lot of goals, but 10 assists here in 2029 isn't too bad. My scout reckons that obviously his acceleration underpins his overall speed and that he has a balanced to normal personality. Next is Chaka Traore. You can see dribbling there, 18 agility, 16 as well as flair popping out in the greens doesn't seem like he's developed an awful lot and you can see there's a couple of seasons we didn't get a lot of games right 2029 only got two games and 2025 only got five games so when you bear bear this in mind right when you're developing your players you need to get them game time and again some players will develop better in some saves than other players and some players will have better potential in some saves than other players okay but an average rating of 6.91 isn't too bad. He scored 12 goals in 2022 with nine assists as well. My scout tells me, that again, he's got a balance to normal personality and can play in a couple of positions. Okay, so these two, okay, not quite world beaten yet. So let's have a look at my boy Ferran Torres and see what he looks like. Okay, so it looks like he's lost a bit of development as well. He's 30 years old here. Acceleration 15, agility 18. Very, very good on his stamina. Flair of 16 as well, but it looks like he hasn't developed too much technically. Technique of 15, finishing of 14. Let's see what's happened in his development. Okay, so he has been criminally underplayed. Only 11 games for Man City here in 2022. Zero games in 2025. Zero games in 2024 as well as 2027. Only two games in 2029. But despite that, he's got an average rating of 7.14. Scored 13 goals in 2029 as well. My scout tells me that Ferran Torres is a fairly consistent performer, right? So people with that on their scout report are good players generally, more often than not, right? He enjoys big matches as well and is a fairly loyal person. I love Ferran. 
Haman Juno Traore next. Look at those physicals, man. Either footed, can play pretty much anywhere in the attacking part of the pitch. Great off the ball, good first touch. Let's have a look at his history. 7.09 average rating, 14 goals in 2027 and 10 goals in 2028. In terms of scout reports, again, he's a fairly consistent performer and enjoys big matches. Rodrigo next and look, <laughs> agility 20. I mean, come off it, Rodrigo. Agility 20, Pff, you're kidding me. Player 16, technique 16, first touch 16 as well. Only like four greens, but one of them is 20. 7.15 is his average rating. Didn't play any games here, by the way, in 2023, which is just criminal. But in 2022, when he was out on loan, he scored 18 goals for Corinthians in Brazil. Never bettered that in his career. My scout tells me he's a fairly consistent performer, and guess what? He enjoys big matches too. Filip Stevanovic, the Serbian winger next. He's pretty good, right? Nothing really like world beaten, but a load of 16s, dribbling, technique. A couple of 17s, agility, flair, and a load of 15s as well, right? Looking at his history, 7.11 average rating over his career is very, very good. He scored 10 goals in 2021, but again, didn't really better that throughout his career. My scout tells me that he is a balanced to normal person and is fairly adaptable when it comes to living in another country. No consistent performer or anything like that. Bit of a letdown really, isn't he? Ryan Gill next. Let's see how he has developed. First touch 16, dribbling 16, agility 17 and balance 16. History wise, he's got an average rating of 7.16. He scored 10 goals consecutively in uh, consecutively in 2027 and 2028 my scout tells me boom that he is a fairly consistent performer and enjoys big matches andreas next and we're just going to call him andreas from now on passing 16 technique 16 dribbling 16 as well as vision and composure 16 as well either footed i like i just love this guy i don't know why just something about this player i really really like an average rating of 7.1 has never scored double-figured goals in a season or hit double-figure assists, which is a strange one. Reports tell us that he possesses a fair amount of pace and is a fairly consistent performer. Emile smith row next. Well, he hasn't developed that much, has he? Let's be fair. Passing 16, off the ball 16. I remember looking at him at the start of the video and thinking, well, oh, if you can turn those 15s into 16s, you're going to be something else, right? Looking at his history, look, it's not like he hasn't played games. He's played a lot of games. 7.03 is his average rating and hasn't really scored double figure goals or made double figures assists. My scout tells me though he is a fairly consistent performer and he enjoys big matches. So hey, who knows what happened to him as Neil Smith Rowe. Jeremy Pino dribbling 16, technique 16, vision 16, flair 16, determination 16. Okay, he's got a lot of 16s. Looking at his history, his history tells us that he's got an average rating of 7.07. .07. But he hasn't played a lot of games. Look at that. Look how many times he's been out on loan. Scout tells me he's a fairly consistent performer and enjoys big matches. Two of my favourites. Jamal Musila next. Really, really good player in Football Manager 2022. Look at all those greens, dude. Dribbling. First touch. Technique. Now we're getting into the proper players, right? Flair, 18. Determination, 17. Oosh. 7.32 average rating across the season. Scored 12 goals once. 10 goals another time. And in two consecutive seasons. Scored 11 goals. The scout tells me that he's a consistent performer and relishes big matches. He doesn't just enjoy them, he relishes them. Jeremy Doku, absolutely incredible. Absolutely, in just look just look at these attributes. Not much to say about that. History-wise, 7.19 is his average rating across the season. He scored 12 goals in 2026 for PSG and 11 in 2027. That rhymes... My scout tells me that he enjoys big matches. Curtis Jones, Curtis Jones, calling Curtis Jones. Okay, he's got a bit faster here, Curtis Jones. First touch 16 as well, composure, determination and flair. Natural at the left wing position this time, which was a lot different to the start of the game, if you remember. Average rating of 7.13, which is good. Ticks over with goals and assists, but not really an explosive player, you would say on the evidence here. Fairly consistent though in terms of performances and it does enjoy big matches. Raspadori next, remember him, one of my favorites. I told you he's gonna be good, right? Look at this, finishing 16, first touch 16. Determination flair, off the ball, all green, agility balance and natural fitness all green. History wise, 7.19 
is his average rating and look how many goals he scored right he scored 20 goals in 2024 for AC Milan 17 goals in 2028 for Juventus Gabriel Martinelli another one of the Arsenal youngsters on the list today acceleration anticipation flair off the ball vision and work rate amongst his greens history wise he's got an average rating of 7.19 and he does score goals like 14 in 2028 12 in 2026 my scout tells me he's a fairly consistent performer and enjoys big matches too Damsgaard makes it into the top three dribbling 16 technique 16 off the ball 16 flair 17 composure 16 and agility 17 that's all his greens history wise he's got an average rating of 7.10 oh look how many goals this guy scores 11 goals in 2022 12 goals in 2023 10 and 25 18 and 26 19 and 2027 20, as well as 12 goals in 2028 20, and 11 goals in 2029 20, i can imagine that this guy you got it he's a fairly consistent performer and zufati is in the top two you knew he would be and i told you he could become one of the best players in the world and these are the kind of stats that a best player in the world kind of has 7.41 average rating over the years consistently hits 15 goals as well look 15 goals four seasons in a row for Ansu Fati Vinicius Jr 30 years old here dribbling 17 technique 16 determination flair off the ball composure acceleration agility natural fitness and pace all in the green history wise an average rating of 7.36 makes him one of the best players on the list today but look at the goals in 2023 he scored 16 goals he followed that up in 2024 with 16 goals then he hit 20 then 17 then 14 then 18 19 and 12 halfway through the season here in 2030. he's a fairly consistent performer and possesses great pace thank you very much for watching today that has been your list this is your shortlist on the side here if you'd like to download it consider becoming a patron i hand all the shortlists out to the patrons for every single video but most of all please hit like please hit subscribe if you're new if you're not subscribed already thank you so so much for watching we'll see you again